daily physics conversation today our topic is doppler effect we have two students i invited two students one from ivy league bound and one from new york university all right doppler effect okay can uh, can you give me a definition of doppler effect doppler effect is when the frequency of an incoming source increases if it's approaching an observer increases or decreases increases because the sound well, waves are coming closer to you but then when the source is moving away from you the frequency decreases. Exactly. same thing okay can, can i explain again yeah no, sure. can i explain yeah okay so essentially as you move closer and closer to the observer uh the longitudinal waves in front of you get compressed together so they have a higher frequency while the longitudinal waves behind you are stretched out so they have a lower frequency so it seems to the observer that as you are approaching you emit a higher frequency noise and as you're leaving you emit a lower frequency noise than what's really going on but can i draw it i have a Why are you laughing? yeah okay so i'm going to give you a chance to help the audience understand but let's first build uh, the foundation okay uh, i'm going to give you okay so if you look at the pond right mm -hmm. if you uh, throw a pebble on the pond the pond the the there would be some uh, ripple around the ripple, ripple ripple around the what water uh well around the what source around the source ripple around the source let's put raf over here and let's put isaac over here okay all right how long okay how long for uh the, the this is called wave front right mm -hmm. okay how long so the the distance from this um from uh from here to here is lambda if the distance from here to here is lambda what is the distance from here to here also lambda, also lambda right uh, how many lambda over here actually one two, two three. three lambda how many lambda over three. here three lambda the distance from here to here is same as distance from here to here right yeah. okay now we're gonna make the things a little bit complicated uh let's say now source is moving let's say uh, let's consider the car right Mm -hmm. Are we going to represent car by a dot? The car can be either at rest or motion, right? Mm -hmm. And Isaac, and this is Isaac, of course. Uh, yeah, no eyes. Oh, there and you. this is Rev. Where's the no? I didn't know it had been contorted to form the IV. <laughs> okay, so I will link. What right. a horrible fate. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now what is this one? Car. Source. You're gonna say this is source, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna say observer one, observer two. two. Now pay attention to this graph and this is Isaac. So far so good. And the object is moving to the right. Or right. Is. Or is let's say 30 meter per second. Uh, right? the guy is honking with 500 hertz mm -hmm. the car the car driver or truck driver mm -hmm. if you like so far so good mm -hmm. all right now so ref ref said that what is doppler effect doppler effect is the apparent increase or decrease of a frequency mm -hmm. it's just like you taking an elevator elevator accelerated up and then there would be apparent weight gain you feel heavier or you take the elevator is accelerating down here yeah, question what is it uh does the wavelength change wavelength changes right what is the wavelength over here big right what is the wavelength over here small. it's small it's small wavelength big wavelength means a small wavelength right yeah. so big frequency or a small frequency big big frequency uh, what about here small frequency. small frequency so far so good yeah. all right now can you tell me, can you tell me the frequency, what would be the apparent frequency experienced by ref? Higher. Higher. It's less than 550. So can, we, can we actually find it? We'll find it. It's a 460 hertz. Okay, I'm going to give you an equation. That's a big idea. The equation is, this is observer. Observer could be Isaac or ref. ref. One, uh, one plus F. Uh, this is what? Frequency Source. Of source. Frequency of the car. Mm -hmm times velocity what what velocity or the speed up okay. sound oh, okay. the speed of sound plus minus uh -huh. the speed of observer mm -hmm. and i'm going to keep the observer at 
rest both of them velocity of sound mm -hmm. plus minus speed up okay. source uh, wait, what? of source yeah oh speed up source okay. oh. so far so good okay. all right can you now use this big idea to write an equation for ref mm -hmm. and uh ref gonna come an equation for ref and then isaac gonna come and write this big idea write equation for isaac is a bigger frequency right bigger than what 500 right so b is equal to one on over the top and minus on the bottom oh. and this is i mean and this is and this is a small is this a small yeah so small is equal to big. one over big okay. all right so uh the frequency uh experienced by ref is why are you talking in third person? You're a weirdo. I'm <laughs> taking a picture. Now, the no, no, let's pay attention. Come on, let me record. Now, this guy will experience a higher, uh, ref will experience a <laughs> higher frequency. So, let's add it to the velocity of the observer. What a stupid but guy. He's at rest, so uh, later I'll set this to zero. And then velocity no, of the sound. This is class. I'm, uh, I'm watching him on the camera. Oh. And you want to increase the frequency, so you subtract the velocity of the source. So because ref is stationary, um, that means our final equation is V sound over uh, the speed of the sound wave minus the speed of the source. Okay, so do the math. Oh, calculate? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so the frequency of the source is 500. 500. Okay, times the velocity of sound is 343 divided by 343 minus the velocity of the car, which is 30. Okay, so this will be. Uh, okay, so this will be. Isaac, you can do it with the calculator. Really? 343 over. That's three. very complicated. Yeah, 265,000 okay. uh, divided by 300. Okay. How do you know that? 500 times. It's actually one, uh, 1745. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't remember. But it's not. Okay. It's just a little bit bigger than 500, which is 550. 547.9. Okay. So this is close to what I predicted. Yeah. All right. Is Isaac time? Okay. You want me to find it for myself? 40, Isaac. Yeah. yeah. We're using the equations. Okay, so Man, don't do this to me today. Don't patronize me. Okay. You know this is called ragging and it's a criminal offense in Nepal, right? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that okay. So it doesn't really matter what V not it is sign is again because I'm at rest. So this okay. should be zero. And in his reference frame uh it would so that's just going to be fs on the top will it be plus or minus the velocity of the doesn't matter doesn't matter it's stationary okay it's zero but hypothetically but sure would it be plus or give it to mom yeah okay so uh let's see so the fs is the static frequency i think or the frequency one the thing is not moving, or when you're in the reference frame of the thing emitting the noise. So then you have VCM minus V naught over VCM plus V source, which is just the velocity of the sound. He's using 343, but it's okay. You can use also 331, but let's keep using 343. No, 343, because he used 343, otherwise it's going to be. That's illegal! No, just... All right. Okay, 343 and 373. So 459.78. Yeah, about 460, but I'll still write the rounded version. All right, okay. Screen. All right, Isaac, round of applause for you. Okay, good. Now I'm going to give you a challenge. That's not a round. That's a radiant. Okay. So I'm going to give you a challenge, right? The challenge is this. Um, I'm going to keep this one. And of course, this is Raf and this is Isaac and everything else I'm going to erase. And... Um, I'm going to ask you to write the lambda for Isaac and lambda for Raf. Okay. This time, I don't know who wants to write first. I'm going to write, but you know, this is going to be inverse relationship, lambda and frequency, right? 
so this is uh, observer is equal to f source source and, and then of course of the sound. speed of sound over speed of sound the speed of sound minus the minus velocity, velocity of the observer okay what i want i want you to the write velocity of source so velocity of the source uh i want you to write the lambda and isaac uh u is different right yeah, uh, frequency plus. is f uh, v over v plus v i just put s over here so you're going to write lambda for you okay good yeah. who wants to do it first isn't that it's not the same thing we did before uh, let's see okay lambda for f uh -huh. so we know the relationship between frequency and wavelength is as follows so the frequency yeah, just three forty three. Oh, sorry no the, no number just the equation the frequency of the source and the wavelength of the source is the speed of sound so that means the wavelength of the source will be the speed of sound um, are we trying to take the wavelength of the, the observer's position of the, of, uh, of the wavelength of f yeah yeah wavelength so it has to be uh lambda o so, equals v o yeah. okay so uh uh frequency uh okay so frequency he is doing like a kramer okay let's see so who's kramer so the frequency. seinfeld so frequency uh, of the sound wave this is the frequency of the source frequency of the sound wave um that's going to be uh velocity of the sound wave uh divided by um the wavelength of the sound wave uh okay and then times v sound we are actually pulling these and equations v out of v sound <laughs> v. okay so uh okay is this uh good okay isaac now mm -hmm. i'm like, not gonna make any is, comment oh, can we plug numbers i no 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 comment no. okay as it goes okay so i'm pretty sure i'm decently sure that you can just say the frequency no of you say that lambda for you uh, for isaac uh, yeah you can say this under this is equal to the velocity of sound right sure so this is equal to this over this now let's just express that as this times oh yeah this, this is correct i think this, this should be true so just this no. over this okay so write it over there in the place that i gave you okay so it's the velocity of sound plus the velocity of the source divided by the frequency at the source isaac is right ref is wrong what yeah you tell just, me you wait. just flipped it wait say it again you just flipped it Completely, that's it. All you need to do, flip it. Really? Yeah. What a dummy. Okay. Well, what happened to the V off on the camera? All right. So, what is that? Yeah, do you not okay. see? Wait. Do you okay. not, do you not oh, see I the see, match? Dummy. Dummy. Little dummy. I was little sleepy. The, the brown always keep low profile because it's an Ivy League. We're like shit. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. Okay. So now. Isaac is moving. You know, I have my own equation. Okay, so Raph, why don't you write your version? Huh? Lambda. How many people oh, have tried that? Yeah. See if it works. No, what is the lambda for you? Oh, oh, calculate. No, just write the equations. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, no, he needs a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to redeem himself. No. See, uh, here the frequency will be high, so the wavelength will be small. Right, so I just need to put a minus sign here. So V sound minus V source uh, over F source. And then I can do a that's it, that's case. It. I can that's check. It, that's it. Yeah. So that's so the lambda. V source is zero, then this is just the regular wavelength. Right? Yeah. Okay. So 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 what is going on? The frequency is what is the relationship between frequency and lambda? So the frequency for F would be what? F v over v minus vs man discovered the and, doppler effect and then lambda is v minus vs over f so what does that tells us 
mm. uh, the world is about to end. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't oh, think now so. Now, if you multiply this two, you should get the velocity. Okay, so velocity, velocity okay. okay go ahead. Velocity, okay. That's lambda. Okay, so frequency cancels. Uh, this guy, oh, oh, yeah, this is V. This is V? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. if you multiply yeah. these two, what is it, Isaac? It's V. If you multiply this, is it also V? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. So V is equal to V. Yeah. All right, let's see whether Isaac is right. What? I'm wilting like a plant. So what did Isaac wrote? You just erased what I wrote. So la uh, he wrote lambda is equal to V plus mm -hmm. Vs over F, right? Mm -hmm. So velocity is? Is this cancel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then? The top. V plus Vs and V plus Vs. V is equal to V. Yeah. All right. Okay, <laughs> good. Now. What is that as, as like, would you be able to find the lambda between these two? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come. Oh, wow. All right. So I have, uh, I'm going to try my best. I know it's probably not going to work, but I'll try my best once again. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Major. So write 0.746. That's awkwardly big, isn't it? Now write the frequency now. So find the velocity. Well, what is the frequency? Frequency you found over four something, mm -hmm. not three hundred. There's a frequency for oh, okay. four four fifty, four sixty. Okay. So now to my lambda times frequency. Three forty three point sixteen. I think that's good enough. Okay. We All right. Now refer to the other one you cite. Okay. All you need to do uh, prove that. No, no. Go over there. This is the last thing you are doing. Prove that it is three forty three. Rifat also proved that it is 343 for Rifat. Oh, so lambda is? Yes. Uh, exact same thing, but. No, it's minus not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. V minus V yes, over uh, frequency, so 343 minus 3. 313 over 347. Three, three, four, three, three, four, three. Hey, give me the calculator. No, point. Oh, I, I mean, you're just yeah, doing the opposite. Okay. Uh, point six two six uh, meters, sorry. Then what's the point? You already know the hertz, it's about 548. No, that's a bad estimate. No, it's not 548. 548. You can't just round by 2 hertz. And multiplying these two, we get 343.05. Wow. Exactly the same? Yeah. Second. I don't know if this is apples or oranges. Or <coughs> okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Last thing. Uh, let's see who can do it faster. You gotta do on one side. Isaac gonna do on the other side. Oh, so, uh, how fast the car is moving? You tell me. Thirty. Teeting, teeting. I know. Raf, can you go a little bit other other way? Teeting. Yeah. Oh. I know he's a dirty teeter. Isaac, oh, stop. Jeez, <laughs> that's a bummer, isn't it? No. Uh, okay. Thirty plus. <laughs> I I didn't mean that. I promise. Thank you for pointing out my mistake. Okay, and I'm just going to steal that. Okay. I'm 96. 596, okay. Right. Today, we learned about the Doppler effect, and essentially that as you approach the source of sound, its apparent frequency increases from your reference frame, while as it uh, leaves, from, as it uh, runs away from you, then its sound is actually decreasing in frequency start. What was the challenging thing today? The challenging thing was deriving the wavelength.